tornadoes hit, we think about damage to our home, our family, our neighbors. Anyone in Blue Ash, Montgomery or Sims Township remembers this day 25 years ago. A deadly EF4 twister killed four people. New research from that storm now proves a tornado can hurt our neighborhoods in other ways. Hey, you want to turn your bar off? It was a rude wake up call on April 9th, 1999. Few homes that are still standing are probably not uh, and not going to be able to be rebuilt. Or and in the middle of the destruction was UC's Benedict Nature Preserve. <laughs> so we've been doing studies in this area previous to the tornado. And then, of course, after the tornado, we saw it as a really good opportunity to actually try to figure out how the vegetation responds and regrows back after the tornado. Is that rare to have that kind of access and, and before and after? Yeah, it is a little bit rare. What they've found since now 25 years later has implications for your yard. It's a mixed bag, I would say, because tornadoes, just like any other disturbance, are usually thought to be natural. There was good news for native plants inside the Benedict and neighboring Johnson preserves. The trees did come back. And so that's good. We're seeing recruitment. But they also found invasive plants seized the space left after a storm more aggressively. You know those calorie pear trees Ohio has now banned? Yep, they love that situation. Interestingly enough, the first time we ever found the calorie tree um, was actually in this preserve. And now that they know what it is, they're seeing it everywhere, and so are all of us. So what is the lesson for your yard when storms rip through it? is you want to replace it. But what I would suggest is try to look for some native species, you know, that might mimic what you want. With storms like this happening now more often, Cully says native plants could face a surprising new threat. 